Okay, Ferguson, let him in. Hi, right, Captain. Colombo. Uh, oh, hi, Mr. Kingston. Yeah, hello, Lieutenant. Listen, I just heard about this. You know, word came down from above to have the place searched. I, uh, Is that so? Yeah, and I, I, I can't understand why. Uh, the fact is, uh, I was kind of bypassed when they came over here. Well, apparently you're just not needed here then, Lieutenant. Why don't you just go home and have your dinner? Oh, no, I better hang around because, uh, you know, if I leave now, it looks bad upstairs, you know. Mm. Oh, hello, Mrs. Uh, Matthews. Mr. Mr. Simpson. Uh, Gee, I hope this is not upsetting you too much. Well, I'm not very happy about my house being torn apart, but they advised me to do it. They? Who was that? Mr. Kingston, I thought it was necessary, Lieutenant. Oh, I see. Hey. You, it, it's really very confusing. You said you didn't suspect me of anything, didn't you? Yes, I did, ma'am, and I meant that. And actually, I was opposed to Captain having your Captain Wyler. House... Clear this table. Where'd you find those? Linen closet in the hallway. Edna, how could you? Oh, dare you believe me? I have no idea how they got there. You better not say another word. But... Edna, he's right. Do you intend to charge her formally, Captain? It's up to Lieutenant Colombo. It's his case. What do you mean it's his case? I thought it was... We know what you thought, Mr. Kingston. Lieutenant? Well, I think we can get started with the fingerprinting. Let's get the kit. Be careful there. Be very careful. Gee, there's something, aren't they? Pastels, you know. May I ask what this is all about, Lieutenant? Both of them. Lieutenant? Oh, Mr. Kingston. Uh, yes, just give us a moment, please. Do you mind? We're getting a few. Good. I can answer if you don't mind. Uh, well, I'd have to start with your uncle's will. What about it? Well, you see, he pulled a rug out from under you when he left his collection to Mrs. Matthews. So you uh, only had one thing that you could do. Murder him and blame it on her. You realize the full import of what you're saying, Lieutenant. There are witnesses here. You see, under the law, anyone who criminally causes the death of someone else can't inherit from that person. Is that right, Mr. Simpson? That's correct. So if Mrs. Matthews is convicted, you're next in line. Everything goes to you. That's why you planted the gun. And that's why you planted the wrapping paper. And that's why you planted these paintings. Tail. I can't believe it. Oh, but you'd like to, wouldn't you? Get you right off the hook. All right, Lieutenant. You claim that I planted these paintings? Suppose you prove it. Can we? Yeah. Yeah. With fingerprints. Uh -huh. Sorry to disappoint you, Lieutenant. Fingerprints won't help you at all. My fingerprints are all over those paintings. My uncle and I unwrapped them when they came back from the exhibit. I told you, didn't I? I told you myself. They're covered with my prints. No, we're not looking for your prints. What? Do you remember the time that I was in your apartment and you came in with some paintings and you said that they were watercolors and you wanted to evaluate them? And remember, I wanted to see them and you wouldn't let me? And I even touched them? You touched them? Yes, my fingerprints are on those paintings. Now, if Mrs. Matthews is guilty, how could my fingerprints get on paintings that she stole? Uh, this is entrapment. It's a setup, that's all. You, you, you touched those paintings just now while I wasn't looking. You saw him do it, didn't you? You put your prints on those paintings while you were bent over watching them when they were working on it. He touched them. You touched... You... Jack. 
Just one more thing. <laughs>